Welcome back to the neighborhood. It's your boy Nova. I'm in the car today. Oh. Oh, we good. How y'all been, man? Oh, uh, welcome back to the neighborhood. I want to start off by saying thank you all for supporting me. Um, the subscribing, the likes, the sharing, the comment, all that. Like, shout out to all y'all. Appreciate that. Today, this a random vlog. Hit y'all with the second one. Um, it's been a while since I did a random vlog. I think I was like back in my first week of ever starting YouTube. Um, today, it's hot. It's, it's cooling down now. It's 86 degrees. Georgia hot. Uh, Michigan, I'm coming back. Like, Georgia's too hot for me. I can't, can't keep doing this. This is ridiculous. Uh, let's get into some stuff that's been on my mind and on my heart. Uh, this. I want to say the NBA lockout. It ain't been on my mind. It's just seen some stuff I, you know, I had seen uh, with Lou Williams. He got a quarantine for like 10 days because he decided he wants to go to the strip club and see ass and eat some wings. So now you got a quarantine for 10 days. How I personally feel about it, um, understandable you down there to do a job, which is play, you know, in the NBA. But y'all can't tell this man how to live his life. Now, I don't know personally if he told anybody, yo, I'm going to the club. Or I'm going here and there, or did he lie and say he went he going one place and he ended up going another? I don't know. But me personally, if I tell you I'm going somewhere, do it matter where I'm going? I mean, if he go into the public, I mean, y'all should have just quarantined him just for going into the public. Like, even, even if I was Lou Williams, I would have said, you know, I'll go ahead and quarantine for a few days or whatever. Because I'm going into the public. I'm going outside the bubble as they're living in. So, that was one topic I just thought about. Like, yo, y'all basically tell these people where they can and cannot go or whatever the case may be. Uh, another thing... Uh, I seen on Twitter today, uh, Netflix is bringing seven black TV shows to Netflix, which is Girlfriends, Moesha, The Parkers, The Game, One on One. What's the other two? I can't remember the other two. I'm going to be honest with you. I cannot remember. But congratulations to them. Um, the fans kept asking and asking and asking over the years. And Netflix finally said, all right, we're going to do it. So that's what's up. I, get, I think it starts. I just got done eating. Uh, I think it starts August 1st, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say it's August 1st. But while y'all doing that, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. I almost pressed the acceleration on this dog on gas pedal. Uh, Georgia weather been so funny lately. Like, it'll be bright and sunny and raining. On top of that, it'd be like 94 degrees. What type of weather y'all got going on? Ain't worse than Michigan. Michigan got that bipolar weather. Like, I don't know what the hell Michigan be having going on. It could be snowing and raining, hot. You don't know the word shorts, pants, sweater. You just stay in the house. That's how bad it be. My complex, man. My, my apartment complex. Townhouse complex, whatever. They got some badass kids around here. Like, these motherfuckers don't go to bed at all. Like, 
Like last night, I had one on a ride. Me and my fiance. And we pull up. There's about 10 something. These little niggas. These little bastards still outside playing. At 10 o'clock at night, like, I understand y'all ain't got school. Where the hell y'all parents at? Where the, where the fuck y'all not in the house? Then y'all playing in the middle of the park a lot. Cars be zooming by. One of y'all get hit, then y'all gonna want to sue the apartment complex. No, y'all should have seen my kid. Well, lady, your bastard child shouldn't have been in the middle of the fucking street. Your child would have got hit. FYI, I'm just saying. It's almost August. <laughs> and this year, 2020, yo, the year 2020 has been shitty. Like, I don't know about y'all, but 2020 been shitty, man. Like, like this been some bullshit. Kobe dying, Corona, Trump still fucking president, Kanye announcing he want to be president and saying the ignorant shit he was saying, <sighs> murder hornets, people getting un- unemployment, living better than people that's working a regular eight to five, nine to five, uh, y'all shit about to run out, so now y'all gotta get a job. Hmm. All shit, all sports came to a sudden stop. It was just now that trying to start it back up. But I did read somewhere that the NFL has like canceled their whole season. Like you ain't doing it. So uh, I did see Major League Baseball. They starting back to play. It's just ridiculous. Like this, this one outbreak. This, this one. Virus has basically shut down the whole world. And it's just like, you damn if you do and you damn if you don't. Because you have people that's being careful, being safe, and still catching the virus, even if they're being at home. Like, somehow, somewhere, they still catching the virus. This is ridiculous. If y'all haven't got tested, get tested. I got tested. That shit was uncomfortable. Like, it went to like right here. It don't go all up in your brain and shit. It was like right here. And like dead ass, like two tears rolled down. I was like, yo. The lady was like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you cry. I'm like, bro. Bitch, I ain't crying. Damn, bitch, that shit uncomfortable. Like, yo. But I, it did come back negative. I'm clean. I'm virus free. But if y'all haven't get tested, man, get tested. If y'all haven't been tested. Um, Georgia is a hot spot. Even the city that I stay in, which is Millersville, they definitely a hot spot. Baldwin County, like, the cases is slowly going back up. All right, so you ever just like thought about where you want to be in life, but you're not quite there yet? I had those thoughts and conversations. I feel like I got to sneeze. That's why I'm talking like this. Already passed. Um, yo. But yeah, y'all would just sit back and think about your future, like, yo. I'm not quit. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not too far off. That's how I feel. Like, I got some things, you know, cooking up, but can't dispose of all your plans at once, man. You can't. Can't let your left hand know what your right hand doing. It's vice versa. However, the saying you can't let your right hand know what your left hand doing. However, it go. But I do. I do like doing this YouTube stuff. Like it's it's fun and it's exciting for me. Uh, as well as my podcast. Like 
I like doing things that it soothes me, it calms me, it uh it excites me. It it makes me feel good knowing that people are actually stopping taking time out their day to either watch me or listen to me. And I thank y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate everything, all the support. Um, even if you haven't subscribed to the channel, y'all should. Like I said, I'm still new to this. So, you know, things are going to come along. But I definitely, definitely appreciate y'all. And all this time, I think of my camera is right here. And it's right here. That's crazy. So, and the vlog is probably going to be looking like I'm looking at something and talking to y'all. Well, actually, I was actually thinking I was looking at the camera lens. Because I record off my phone. So, I'm thinking I'm looking at the lens all this whole time. I was looking at the bottom of my phone. So, apologize for that. But let me know in the comment section. Like, I need y'all, you know, interact more with your boy. You know, this is the neighborhood. Oh, uh, what type of content y'all want me to bring to y'all? I, I know I did. I want to do that. What's, what is the spicy one chip challenge or something like that? Like, the hottest chip. I do want to do that. Need to prepare myself for that. I do want to do the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, Hottest Wings. I do. Want, I still want to do that. Some people say they good. Some people say they're not. Some people say they're not even that hot. Everybody taste buds are different, and I'm still looking at the bottom of this phone. I mean, everybody taste buds are different. But the weekend almost here. I can't say that. Like, tomorrow, Thursday. Well, if y'all, depending on when I post this, it might be Thursday when y'all see this. Oh, my Lord. Sorry, I didn't mean to drop y'all. But, yeah, Thursday here is. Get the camera right, Nova. Good God, brother. Yeah, the, the week almost over. The work week. I will say the work week is almost over. Sit up for a minute. But the work week almost over, which I'm so happy. Like, I love my job. I love what I do. Sometimes, boy, it drain you. If y'all don't know what I do, I am a job coach um, or a supportive employment specialist. I help pe I basically help people find jobs. But here's the catch. I help people who um that has mental health, people has drug or alcohol dependencies. I help them find jobs. Uh I I do believe in second chances cuz God gave me a second chance. So I I truly believe in second chances for people. Um, whether they were hooked on cocaine, meth, coke, cocaine, meth, coke, you know, ecstasy, strong, whatever they, whatever drug, alcohol. You're never too late in life to turn yourself around. As long as you're breathing, you get another twenty four hours to change your life around. Even if you don't take the whole 24 hours, you're given 24 hours out the day to make some impact on your life. And once you make that impact on your life, that's when you can start branching out and making impacts on other people's life. So I do truly believe in second chances. I do. Um, hit that like button if y'all believe in second chances, man. Like I said, God gave me a second chance at things because, you know, something, one part of my life, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I found myself in a dark space. So, but 
we might talk about that on another vlog, like mental, like your mental health. Mental health and mental health don't necessarily mean I'll you know, I don't even want to say the words because I need to know what words I can and cannot use on YouTube. But mental health don't always mean special disabled. It could be depression, anxiety, um, bipolarness, schizophrenia, like those type of things. But most people hear mental health and they straight go to y'all know where I'm going with this. But yeah, I think we'll talk about that in another vlog. Because some people deal with depression and anxiety and other things and they don't know how to vent express themselves, or if they try to go to somebody else, they're going to probably feel like that person is judging them, then they're going to shut back down. Me, personally, I deal with depression sometimes. Especially since um, February 9th of this year. And if y'all don't know what February 9th, February 9th means to me, that's the day I lost my mother. Uh, that is the day my world actually like just stopped, slowed down, went dark. And I know it's been it's been almost six months since I lost my mother, but the wound is still fresh. Like anybody who has lost a parent, like I lost my father in in November of two thousand seven. And like I said, this this year I lost my mother in February. So I even with my dad being gone for thirteen years, almost thirteen years, the wound is still fresh. You will never that wound will never heal. Because in some days you want to call your parent or call you know, either one of your parents and talk to them or get some advice like, yo, can you, you know, help me out? I need some guidance. For the people who have lost, lost parents or parents, y'all, y'all understand where I'm coming from. Um, just remember that you're strong, keep pushing, and they are watching over you. Uh, I done heard somebody say, time heals all wounds. Temporarily, because in the blink of an eye, a thought, a image, anything, a saying, can reopen that wound. So, always remember that. Uh, my mom' birthday is next Tuesday, which is August fourth. Shout out to all the Leos. Even though I'm a Gemini, but shout out to all the Leos, shout out to all the August 4th babies. But I think that day, I'm going to just sit back and, you know, reminisce some good times that me and my mom had. That was my best friend. That was my, my rider, my OG. That lady could tell me no wrong like that that was my best friend but I thank y'all for sitting here and listening to me ramble on this random vlog again I do appreciate y'all once again hit that like button subscribe hit that little bell you know turn on your post notifications that will let you know every time I post uh, anything go live I think once I hit like 50 subscribers, I think I'm going to go live just to interact with y'all. You know, some of y'all know me. Some of y'all might not. So it's all good. But I do love y'all from the bottom of my heart. This your boy Nova. Peace. Oh,